In this video, I'm going to unbox, assemble, and test ride the Tesco Thunder. Are you ready for the Tesco Thunder? Or are you just waiting for the box? Yar! Okay. That's it. Oh, a discovery has been made. The front wheel is attached. Seats, back seat, pedals. Uh, oh wait, I know what they are. If you have someone sitting on back, these are footrests. So with the manual, there was also an extra key. There's also tools, and in this bag is the parts to attach the handlebars. One more thing. The charger. Here's everything I pulled out of that smaller box. Oh wait, there's one more thing. Scratch for a big surprise. Do not scratch this card for your review. Okay. I'm not gonna read the instructions. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the handlebars. So I gotta put this doodad here. And then just put in the four screws. Get in there. Get in the hole. Usually these line up with the holes, but it's like a hair off. I think now that it's on there, I'm supposed to slide it over. <laughs> looks really bad. Yeah. I tried, I don't have any more assets to work with. Four things I need to slide. I got two of them to slide. You have to push down and then slide it, but like, I just, I don't got the muscle. Let's move on to an easier seat. The left one spins into here counterclockwise, and then the right one spins into here clockwise. Now I gotta put these, well I don't gotta, but I'm gonna put the footrests on the back. The metal part goes in first, and then the plastic part. And finally, the last part of assembly, just tightening down the light. <laughs> so this little tool makes it pretty, I don't even know what it's called, but it grabs the nut in back, and then you just tighten this in front. However, just because the front wheel came installed, doesn't mean you shouldn't double check and make sure it's tightened down. Now that it's assembled, I'm gonna plug in the battery. This giant battery, it is removable, so if you wanna take the bike somewhere, fold it, take it. It's probably a good idea to remove this because it's really heavy. So to do that, you see this right here? To unlock it, you push the key in, turn it, and once that has reseated, you can take the battery to out. power this on, stick the key in, turn it, and then I can remove the key. You can't always remove the key, but on this model you can. So then I go over here, hold down the power button, and it's on. With this here, I can adjust the front suspension. So right now it's all the way open. Now I'm gonna close it. A lot more rigid of a ride. PSI for these tires is between five and 30. I do fat tires at 20. Throttle only, pedal assist one. On pedal assist one, I got it to about 10.5 miles per hour. Pedal assist two. It capped out at about 13.5, 13.8. Pedal assist three. A little bit faster. This capped out at about 19.8. On four, I got it to about 24.5 miles an hour. And then finally, just past 28 miles an hour. I'm finding out you have to be really careful because just on pedal assist one, it really gets going. <laughs> I can still feel a little burn in my knees. Definitely getting a workout. Now I'll try two. So much easier to pedal. Still feeling a little bit of a workout here. On on three, it's a breeze. I don't feel any workout at all anymore. With a top speed of about 28 miles an hour and a max range of approximately 90, it really depends how you use it. Like more motor, more pedal assist, less battery life. I was feeling adventurous, so I left my usual stomping grounds and I found this lake. Is that a lake or a pond? A fountain? 
and I decided to take a little peek. And since this is technically a review, I gotta say at least one negative thing. The screen, it can be a little hard to see, especially in bright sunlight, but not quite as bad in real life as it appears here in the video. I'm gonna approach this group here and ask them what they think of the Tesco Thunder. There's three more left, so. What do you guys think of the Tesco Thunder? Good e-bike? Everyone loves influencers. After that very clear nod of approval from that last dude, I headed back to my regular walking cycling trail where there's no motor vehicles allowed, as you can see. Look at the screen now. It doesn't always appear dim. Right now it's actually really bright. Once again, I'm gonna tackle my favorite hill on, can you see that? Pedal Assist 3, and I'm gonna pedal. No throttle, just pedaling. It's gonna be so easy. Even though this is a really heavy, big bike, this will be a cinch. Look at that. Tesco Thunder F has a 750 watt brushless motor, Shimano seven speed gear shift system, but even with all of that, I prefer to just throttle. This is my favorite way of using an e-bike because it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but if you want to do a little bit of exercise, you can. Let me demonstrate. See? Or if you're really up for it, I could just pedal. It's probably a better way of getting exercise, but it's good to have the option not to. I'd say one of the most obvious and pretty neat features on this e-bike is the back seat. You don't have to have it on there, you could leave it off, or they also sell a basket. This bike also features disc brakes, double rear shock absorbers, and hydraulic front spring fork. But my favorite, these beefy fat tires, 20 inches by 4. I just made a discovery, look at this. The max load of weight that this can carry is 350 pounds. It's suitable for riders between 5 foot 3 all the way to 6 foot 5. The price! That's probably the most important thing, right? Well, it was $1749, $1749. Now it's $1399. And that is free shipping. If you're interested in the Tesco Thunder F or any of their other models, check out their website. It's actually right on the back. You can see it right there. Tesgobike.com. And check down below in the video's description for any coupons that I might have. All right, that's it. Toodaloo-daloo. Bye, guys.